so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we are discussing a very interesting paper released by mit which talks about how does your brain get affected by chat gpt yes you heard it right so they did an experiment and then observed your brain waves and eventually they came to shocking results that how chat gpt is actually damaging your brain so the paper named is your brain on chat gpt cognitive debt in ai assisted writing so what happens when ai thinks for us eventually the experiment was quite cool i would be coming to that the entire idea of the paper is they want to understand what is actually happening inside your mind when we are using ai tools like chat gpt for writing for us so it's a creative task right it requires some sort of thinking and all but if ai is doing it for you then how does it change how does it affect your brain what happens when we stop thinking for ourselves because we have gotten used to a machine that can think for us and the results are dangerous the study design i will be explaining you how the experiment was done the students wore eeg headsets to monitor brain activity wrote essays in three conditions using chat gpt using just google search and without anything so the group was divided into three parts that had chat gpt access that had google search access only no chat gpt and which has no access measured memory language use attention and neural connectivity so this was how the experiment was designed cognitive offloading this is a very important topic that was discussed in the paper as you can see you are delegating your thinking capabilities to ai the process of delegating mental tasks to external tools reducing our cognitive load like using a calculator instead of mental math or gps instead of memorizing directions impact on memory what actually happened when we use this decrease retention of information when you are using ai assistance very regularly so you are not now not able to remember things reduced recall ability even after returning to unaided writing so eventually what they said once we provided chat gpt assistance and in the next round when we removed it eventually your recall ability has reduced lower engagement with the material during the writing process so for example if the person has written some text he doesn't remember what it actually consists of that is quite true so these are the three impacts that they measured on memory that it ch using chat gpt had so here you can see unaided memory retention comparison so when you are using nothing no no google search no chat gpt the memory retention is very high when you are using google search it is okay not that bad but when using chat gpt it is just almost halved 40 50 ratio changes in brain activity this is a very important plot as you can see creative thinking when you are unaided as you can see it's a complete web but when you are using chat gpt it's just nothing reduce neural connectivity and it's just not minor reductions it's major changes lower activation in language processing and decrease attention this chart is quite scary to be honest because once you are not using anything your brain is functioning properly you are able to recall things you are go using your brain to the fullest but once you are using chat gpt as you can see it's it's just doing nothing the debt comes due even when returning to unaided thinking the effects of cognitive offloading persisted so once you started using ai once you go back to your pre chat gpt era you just can't and your brain has taken the damage reduced ability to generate original ideas diminish critical analysis skills and increase dependence on external tools now your brain can't go back to the normal stuff what this means for learning you need to use balanced approach to ai use in education you just can't completely rely on ai that's too dangerous as you can see that particular web chart that really scared me a lot importance of deliberate practice in unaided thinking 
so you need to from time to time switch to zero internet environment also this is very important to keep your uh, critical thinking alive else you might go completely dumb developing new pedagogies that leverage ai while preserving cognitive skills and finding the right balance between efficiency and cognitive development i think for kids it's it's very important that they don't start using chat gpt asap as they are going to their education certain things should be coming in late and in restriction in limited amount else your brain might not get developed also for us who have aged about 25 30s or later i think still fine because we have already gone through that hard process of learning but for the newer generation it can be very damaging finding the balance i think that's the most important part this isn't about banning tools the entire research that was done is quite critical it never says that you should not use ai it's about recognizing the problems it might create and we need to have a balance between the both the challenge ahead is balancing the efficiency of ai assistance with the need to preserve and develop our cognitive abilities these two should go hand in hand the study is quite scary and the paper is quite interesting to read just try to read it up this is just a summary and the results so that you don't need to go through the entire paper i hope this was useful and you try to read the paper also and try to balance out unaided ai stuff alongside ai also thank you so much